Saints, I'm so glad that you've taken a moment to listen to today's abiding reflection. It's taken from John chapter 10, verses 28 and 29. And it says this, Jesus speaking, And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Verse 29, Jesus says, My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. It's pretty remarkable. It says here, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. I can't think of a more wonderful gift. The gifts that were given here on this earth, they are going to have their time and they will eventually perish. In fact, a lot of gifts that we have received are, we don't, we're, they're no longer in our possession. Uh, they've broken down or we outgrew them, et cetera, et cetera. But this is the most wonderful of all gifts, eternal life, and we will live forever and ever and ever with our Lord. And then he gives us this beautiful picture no one shall snatch them out of my hand. Then he goes on to say in verse 29, My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. It's a beautiful picture. You see, we're in Jesus' hand. He's got one hand, and we're in our Father's hand, so he's got our other hand which means we're not going anywhere. No one can snatch us out of Jesus' hand. Why? Because Jesus is all-powerful. Mm -hmm. And no one can snatch us out of our Father's hand because as our Lord said, He's greater than all. There's no one greater than the Father. Oh, how secure is that? Let me give you an example. When our children were little, my bride and I, we have three children. Now they're all grown in their 20s. But when they were little, and we were in a dangerous situation, say we were crossing a busy street, I held their hand, and Mom held their other hand. We didn't rely upon the child, our child, to hold our hand. Because if that were the case... You see, they can let go and run into traffic and be in a very dangerous situation. But that wasn't the case. Their hand wasn't our hand. And no man can pluck them out. No, we will take you across the street, even if we have to drag you across the street. But we got a grip on your hand. We're not trusting you to hold our hand. No, we're holding your hand. And that's how I want you to think of this. Listen, you're not holding God's hand so much as he's holding your hand. Mm -hmm. You see, if you were holding his hand, then you have opportunity to wiggle out or to, you know, break loose and go into a dangerous situation. But that's not what it reads here. What it says here is that, is that we are in Jesus' hand and we are in the Father's hand, meaning they're not going to let us go. We will never perish. He has given us eternal life. Jesus, God the Father, they're going to take us to the other side, even if they have to drag us there. That's how much they love us. That's how much me, an imperfect father, and my dear bride, an imperfect mother, that's how we treated our kids. So how much more will our Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ our Lord not accomplish their will in our lives and take us safely to the other side. Saint, I want you to remember, you are in God's hand, you are in Jesus' hand, and no one and nothing, not sickness, not illness, not financial trouble, not relationship trouble, can pluck you out of his hand. May you be encouraged today, and may the Lord minister to your heart. In Jesus' name, amen.